Hi, my name is Amy Miller and I'm a nurse practitioner here at Sarasota Memorial Hospital and I work with the Cancer Care Services team, particularly with lung cancer screening and prevention. Hi Amy, so what is lung cancer screening? So lung cancer screening is relatively new. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services just started covering it as of the beginning of 2016. It's a low dose CAT scan. Um, and basically just of your thorax, so taking a picture from here to here, mainly looking at your lungs and in particular what we're looking for are little tiny um, spots or what we call pulmonary nodules. So who is eligible to get this screening? So uh, people who are eligible for screening have to be between the ages of 55 and 77. They have to be a current smoker or someone who's quit within the last 15 years and have at least a 30 pack year smoking history, which basically equates to one pack per day times 30 years or more. How does it work? So basically, you have to have a conversation with your physician, you know, having a conversation about whether or not lung cancer screening is appropriate for you. At that point, your physician would write you an order, and then that order would get translated to our um, scheduling department. At that point, we would call you and verify your eligibility, making sure that you fit that criteria, and we'll go ahead and schedule an appointment for you to come into one of our outpatient locations or here at the hospital. Um, we screen at four locations currently here at the main campus down on 41 in Sarasota. Also two at our Heritage Harbor Healthcare Center, at our Clark Road facility which is up by the interstate and also two down at our, our Northport ER and Healthcare Center as well. So all of those locations are able to do low dose CAT scans for lung cancer screening and we can schedule you at one of those locations for your low dose CAT scan. It's a very simple CAT scan. You do have to lay flat on a table for about five minutes. It's not an MRI, so you're not in an enclosed in a tube. It's more of like a flat, open donut. Um, really, no patients have had any issue with that. You have to hold your breath for about 10 seconds, and it's a really painless, easy, quick procedure, and typically you're in and out of there in about 30 minutes or less. So if I meet the criteria, why should I get screened? You should get screened because if you meet the criteria, you're considered high risk for lung cancer. Lung cancer is the number one cancer killer in the world. More people die from lung cancer than the combination of colon, breast, prostate. And I think that because there's a stigma attached to lung cancer, people don't really realize that. More women die from lung cancer than they do breast cancer, and mainly it's because we hadn't had before a really good screening tool. So now that we do have a good screening tool, we can detect lung cancers at their earliest stages and really help provide people better overall survival benefit, meaning you could have surgery for an early stage lung cancer and really walk away from lung cancer being cured, um, as opposed to finding lung cancer at later stages where it's much harder and much more difficult to treat. Can you tell me one more time again how I make an appointment? So basically, um, the lung cancer screening line is 917-5864. That's 917-LUNG, L-U-N-G, 5864. And so you can call and speak to either me or the administrative person that helps with scheduling to really confirm eligibility. And from there, we can either assist you with an order or we can also schedule the appointment if you have an order in hand. Excellent. So um, is there any more information out there that we haven't discussed? So just a couple of other things too. Here at Sarasota Memorial Hospital, we really want to, you know, we really we want to make sure that everybody that's eligible for screening comes in. Just because you have a smoking history does not mean that you deserve to have lung cancer. And so here at the hospital, we really want to make sure that we're providing screening and early detection for anybody who may may meet the eligibility criteria. So it's a conversation that you should have with your physician. Also, too, there are a lot of resources online that can help you decide whether or not lung cancer screening is good for you or right for you. One of the ones um, that is a very good resource to look at is savedbythescan.org and certainly you know you can go on there and there's a little quiz that will help you determine whether or not lung cancer screening is appropriate for you. Also too we have a lung cancer screening resource on our Sarasota Memorial website and you can find that at smh.com forward slash cancer and then, and then just specify in the search lung cancer screening and it will offer you more information about our specific program. But the important thing is is that if you have a history of smoking and that you meet the eligibility criteria is to talk to your doctor about getting this life-saving screening exam. So what I oftentimes say to people is just like mammography or colonoscopy, it's a lung, it's a cancer screening that could save your life. So if you're eligible for that, please talk to your doctor about getting screened for lung cancer. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.